Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 344. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 344 to 348. Hey, Trick 344, we have some weightlifters, and here are their names, and each of them did some weight lifting. You can see here Tom got uh, zeros because he didn't have any lift. N now our goal is to extract, here's all of our players, we want to extract just the max for each player. So we can't just use the max function because that would just give us the max for the whole range. Let me zoom in here. We want to do a max if for each player. Now there is no such thing as max if, there's some if and count if and average if in 2007, but we can use functions like max and min and mode and median with the if function and create an array formula. So it's pretty straightforward. You just got to remember that you got to use control shift enter instead of enter to put your formula in. So we just do max. Now, it wants some numbers, but we want to uh, tell the max to only look for Joe. So that's where the if comes in. We'll say if, and the logical test will be you click in this cell right here, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then F4 to lock it. You say if any of those uh, cells, which are the names, are equal to this one, not lock, because when we co copy it down, we want it to move to Tom and then Sue. This will deliver a bunch of trues and falses. You can highlight it and hit F9, which is evaluate, and see that there's a bunch of trues and falses. This, now I'm going to control Z. You see how there's a lot of them there? The if function is expecting one true or one false. The fact that we're doing this, this is what makes it an array formula, because there's uh, more than one true or false going into an argument in the if function that's only expecting one. So if we get a true, what do we want? We want to tell now value of true all of these. So I click there, Control Shift Down Arrow, and F4. So any times it sees a true here, it will deliver the value to the max. So the max will only get Joe's values. Now we close parentheses on the if. You can always tell by the screen tips that you need another closing parentheses. Also by the color. As soon as you see the black one, boom, you got it. Control Shift and then Enter. You cannot just hit Enter. Watch what happens if I hit Enter. It gives me 42. As I copy that down, uh, it's not going to work. So uh, actually, that's just the max. What it did is it just gave us the max. So instead of doing that, we hold Control and Shift and then hit Enter. Now when we copy it down, double click and send it down, we get exactly what we want. Mo's biggest was 42. And you can check here, broop, just like that. That's cool. That is just like magic. Now, the second part to this is we want to rank. We just want first, second, third, fourth, fifth. But we don't um, want to rank 0 here, which would get a 6. So we're going to do an if formula here. This isn't an array. This is just a straight uh, if formula function with the rank at the end. All right, so logical test is one cell to my left equal to zero. If that's the case, what do we want? Comma, there's our logical test. It'll just deliver true or false. Value if true in quotes, because it's a phrase, no lift, and double quote. Otherwise, what do we want? We want to do the rank, R-A-N-K. Now, the rank needs the uh, actual number to rank, which is this, comma, the reference, which is all of our uh, values right here. And you got to hit F4 to lock it. So now the rank function will look at each individual value relative severance as we copy down and compare it to the whole list. And then finally, comma, and we want descending or ascending. I'm going to say descending. So the biggest will get first. Uh, one, close parentheses. Now the close parentheses on the rank. Close parentheses on the if. Now notice the if is putting one of two things. There's a logical test. It's putting either text or a function that will calculate. By the way, I have a link down here for rank. I have a huge uh, video that shows you like seven or eight different ways to ranks because they're 
here we're, we're um, limited to how this calculates, which means ties would get the same number. If there's a tie first, they would each get first, and the next one would get third. So if you're interested in some other algorithm for rank besides that, you can look at the link down here. By the way, a hint, in 2010 Excel, there's, a new, there's two new functions uh, that can deal with, um, that will allow you to do two different sorts of ranking. Now I'm going to control enter, not, not control shift, just control enter because I want to put the formula in the cell. Notice up here there's no curly brackets so you know it's not an array. Double click and send it down. We get exactly what we want. Oh, we don't want descending. We want uh, the actual first place to go to this 42. We have it set up in reverse. So I'm going to hit F2 and change that to, uh, oh, I said 0 and typed a 1. That's what happened. We did want descending. Uh, control Enter will re. Notice Control, I had all the cells highlighted. When I hit F2, it put it into edit mode. If I edit just one of them and then Control Enter, it'll repopulate all of those cells with the correct formula. And there we have it. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and no lift. Um, by the way, over here, remember we did Control Shift Enter? curly brackets. That is, those are characters that get put in when you do Control Shift Enter, but you can't type them in. All right, we'll see you next trick.